Right folks, I'm back. Uh, point number two. Point number two is an interesting one and this is an avenue that I've had to take. Um, leaving South Africa, I lost a lot of money in um, uh, some property development ventures and uh, so the writing was on the wall for me in that um, if things really got bad I'd land up on the street. Okay. So I naturally thought, well, there is a social welfare system in Brussels because my father had to uh, go down that route towards the end of his life. And um, basically the, the social system here in Brussels or Belgium is probably one of the best in the world. Um, there's an organization called CEPAS. Okay, spelled S or C P A S. Now, this is the social welfare system of Belgium, and um, basically, what happens here is if you are a Belgian citizen, um, such as my situation, I've never lived in Belgium, I've come from uh, South Africa after 45 years, and I want to enroll now. Okay, and the thing is, I don't have enough funds to uh, be able to easily be not working and to afford a rental um, and obviously I've got to find work so these are the main things that I have to deal with when coming to a new country and to Belgium so step two okay I'm going to see an organization it's as I said it's a, a social organization for social welfare but the amount of support that these guys give you is unbelievable. Um, for example, they'll look at my situation and, and, and see if I'm, I really don't have much money to my name. What they'll do is they will give me a salary temporarily, okay, in the range of about 800 euros. And that 800 euros will be like a, a state uh, salary in order to help me get on my feet, okay. Um, at such point in time as when I do find a job, obviously all of that will stop. But this is their way of looking after the community. Um, part of that application is something that I did today. I had to go to a body called Actiris. Actiris is an organization which is a job seekers forum, but think of it on a national or governmental level. So I had to enroll there and now having enrolled there I can go to my meeting with CPAS on Monday. Okay. Um, they will then do an evaluation and as I said to you if I'm successful and they see that I do need aid they will assist me. Okay. Um, so that's really what I'm trying to do at this point in time. I'm registered, I'm enrolled with that actress body, okay, which is for looking for jobs. And now in the meantime, the state will more than likely forward me um, some money on a monthly basis till I can get on my feet. Now, I mean, that in itself compared to having no support at all in South Africa, is power you know i mean this is why it was always very important for me to hold on to my uh, belgian nationality and that meant whenever the passport expired obviously you have to renew it um, so you're ongoing you recognized in the system albeit through uh, the belgian consulate when i was in south africa um, obviously everything is registered and recorded here in belgium so um, in the following video, video three and four, more than likely uh, after Monday, I'll be able to explain to you in more detail what that uh, situation is and um, what are the benefits that they will be prepared to afford me. And there's quite a lot of benefits, you know, there's benefits like they'll give you free transportation, so you can use all the transportation in the city, um, and that's metro, buses and trams, um, and trains, 
Um, so, you know, that's a huge saving. So, you know, this is the difference between a first world country and a third world country. Um, yeah, they believe and see how important and how necessary it is to assist people to try and get on their feet. So um, I hope you've enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this video and um, I will be chatting to you in video 3. Have a good day. Bye.